Now, to illustrate this, let's go back and remind ourselves of some of the accessibility options that are available for members of a class. Remember that we have public accessibility, and that means that there are really no restrictions at all. So in our Poodle class, as an example, Poodle would be able to access any of the public methods of the base class. Protected deals specifically with this concept of inheritance. When we have protected accessibility, it means that that member is accessible only to the base class itself and to any class that directly derives from that base class. So that means that if the base class dog had a member that was protected, then you would be able to access that member through an instance of Poodle. However, if the a method is protected and you're accessing it from a non-derived uh, class, let's say we have a cat class, for example, then this protected uh, member would not be visible. We have the internal access modification, which allows us access only within that current project. Now, this is true whether it's inherited or not. So technically, you could have a class, class A, which provides the base class to another class, class B, that's in a completely separate assembly, a separate project. And because of the internal uh, accessibility, it would not have an accessible member. Protected internal means that that member is available within the current project, but also to derived classes, whether those are in the current project or not. Finally, private. Private means that there's no access out of that base class at all. That means that if you had a, a member that was marked as private, you would not be able to access that member through an instance of that derived class under no circumstances.